Support the show at zombiegoboom.com where you can get your favorite zombie killing weapons. When the zombie apocalypse arrives, will you survive? Zombie Go Boom. Kick undead ass. Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind blowing episode from the bloodiest show on YouTube, Zombie Go Boom. I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles Foltz. And you guys constantly request for us to test kills from The Walking Dead to see whether or not they will help you in real life situations. Well, that's what we're doing today. And the most requested kill from the last season of The Walking Dead is Maggie chopping and decapitating zombies left and right with a street sign. Now, stealing a street sign is highly illegal, so we decided to make our own. That thing is legit as sh Let's find out a little bit more about it by taking a look at the tail of the tape. The street sign. Used for ages to make sure people follow parking and traffic laws. But can it be used to kill walkers? Well, Maggie certainly thought so and proved that in the Walking Dead universe, this is definitely an effective weapon. But what about the universe in which we reside? Can an 18 by 24 inch standard street sign made of engineering grade reflective aluminum attached to a standard green galvanized steel post be enough to turn a walker into a sitter? Or will these 20 pounds of pure metal be a sign of disaster for the executioner? Let's find out. All right, now let's go over the plan of attack real quick. First, I'm gonna do a 90 degree angle strike from behind. And then I'm gonna probably do another 90 from the side and then maybe a decap. I don't know, I'm just gonna whack around and see what happens. All right, Charles, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, man, in three, two, one, go. Shave the piece off yeah. of it. All right. I got it. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Nice. All right, well, don't go anywhere because we're about to do a decapitation, but I did want to talk about this really quick. Well, like the second hit, maybe shave this off. It has a little bit of bone in it, but not very much. And then a few hits later, finally we got some damage. This zombie is definitely dead, but it's not just a one hit kill. It takes a lot of effort to use it because it's so heavy and it was bouncing off most of the time, right? Yeah, it was deflecting off uh, the skull pretty badly. Uh, you just kind of have to find the right spot, like the sweet spot, basically, and, and, and you want to pull as you push when you hit, just like a sword. <laughs> if you wanted to be proficient with this weapon, you would have to practice, and Maggie just grabbed it. And it's probably fair to say that Charles is quite a bit stronger than Maggie, and after a few hits, quite a few hits, this is what he managed to do. Now we're just gonna try the decapitation, see what happens. Hell yeah. Rolling. You, you yeah, gotta back up? I'm clear, man. Okay, ready? Yep. <coughs> nope. Yeah. <coughs> All right, let's see. Well, we have a broken neck here, but we don't have a decapitation. So, what did we find out today? Did the weapon work? Yes. Is it Zombie Go Boom approved? No. And could we have sharpened it? Yes, but did Maggie have a chance to sharpen it? No, it's an improvised weapon. Is it a good weapon? No, not even close. In order to be proficient with this weapon, you actually have to practice with it. It's awkward, it's heavy, it moves, it bends. It seems like it would act as a bladed weapon because it has this edge right here, but it acts more like a bludgeoning weapon. Really, I mean, it, it severed the head, but via blunt force trauma, basically. Basically, basically. and uh, you know, you'd be better off using it as a shield. It's gonna get you eaten. 